Hello, dear wonderful friends. I'm Abigail Che. Uh, I became viral in the year 1995 in an episode of Under One Roof entitled Abigail. During my time, everybody talking about it like the talk of the town, then I think that kind of an effect will be known as viral. After Under One Roof, you know, I get more jobs in entertainment. The most memorable moment is like after the life story by Mediacorp, they sympathize with the story I share. During that time, I wasn't promoting LGBT nor sex change. What the program intention was to let viewers have a better understanding to the person involved and the family. People from the public, after watching the episode, they come to me and uh, wish me well, and some even cry uh, because they were very touched by uh, uh, how the story was being presented. It's, pretty unforgettable. The only thing I find so-called uh, negative in the comments, I believe they did it out of a joke, like they will call my former name, Caesar, Caesar, like that, you know, or, or they call me Che Da Kuang, Che Da Kuang. So I take it uh, with a humorous pinch of salt, I won't feel offended. But in life, you can never make everybody love you or like you, and especially during this uh, a pandemic period, of course, lesser jobs, but uh, there are people who still uh, create platforms on Facebook Live, like restaurants and all that. Platforms whereby I tell stories and doing a lot of funny things, lah, because you know, Abigail is a funny trademark, so they will try to uh, create. Uh, opportunities for me and uh, during my free time I uh, do community work distributing hand sanitizer helping to distribute face masks and most recently trace together token people uh, still recognize me uh, although now uh, we have to wear masks uh, they have never seen me through all these years then finally they see me so it's like wow Catch up, you know. Actually, I know you from the screen. And that's how this whole episode in real life makes life worthwhile to live on. Because, you know, we are sharing happy moments among strangers in inverted commas. I'm blessed in a, a way and humbled that I have been selected uh, as finalist to a beauty pageant, Mrs. Singapore International, organized by TKS. For me to be just a finalist is already a dream come true. The organizer gave me a chance to, you know, show forth whatever beauty I have, inside out or outside in, whatever la, beauty to carry la. Because from young, uh, I always imagine myself as a walking Barbie doll, uh, a princess, you know, wow, you know, doing catwalk, you know, involving in beauty pageant, posing. I can imagine, you know, I'm wearing this uh, beautiful gown. Uh, then I've got a lot of materials, you know, different layers. Then I can sachet, sachet, sachet. And then even though no long hair, I also can add on hair one. Again, I stress, I am not being vain. It's just that I'm living out my dream. My mission is to, uh, you know, share happy things with people. Unlike all these clocks over here, I haven't got much time. So all the more, I have to treasure my time and really do meaningful things. Then I find that uh, my life has fulfilled its maximality, my own <laughs> word invention. Hi, I'm Abigail. You are watching Viral Video Stars. See you. Eh, sorry, I forgot. Actually, in the year 2013, 
I broke this local record of the longest stand-up comedy. <laughs> eh, how come never go viral? Ah? Oh, it did, and I didn't know. <laughs> See you lah.